Hey! Get in on it. He's set on something sharp. Oh no, that's Adam, the other main character of Eve, The Will to Live, my feature animation that I'm working on. Uh, me, I'm Warren Reed, crazy maniac, making a movie by myself. Uh, I'm talking softly because it's late at night. Before I started this film, Eve, The Will to Live, there were some things in animation that I didn't know, and one of the ones in my bucket list to do, to get before I even bothered starting, was can I have a character hold something? Um, because I had it in my, uh, I had a short animation called Kilimo 2, and it was, you know, it was kind of a drag and a pain in the, some sort of southern place. But anyway, I worked out an easy solution, and that's what I want to share with you guys, um, in case someone is also struggling with that. The pros, they can sit back and laugh, but here we are with our homemade solutions. Hack! The best way I've found is to parent your object to an empty, right around the grip, as you can see. And then what you do is you Use the 3D cursor to place it at the hand area of your character. And for Adam, I found it's even better if you make an extra little bone. So I've made this bone called the right hand grabber. I made a left one also. It just makes the, it easier to position your smack or your fly swatter sawed off shotgun, your cupcake, you know, whatever your character's holding. So then using, you know, the uh, 3D cursor controls, shift S, you send cursor to selected and then in selection to cursor, off. And then from there you add the constraint, child of, you use the little eyedropper, to choose the rig and then you choose whatever your bone's going to be called and you clear and set the inverse puff it's right there check it out it's not going anywhere now, of course the object is in the wrong position but I'm telling you it's better you do this parent double parenting thing because then it gives you the freedom to move that panga that's a machete in Kiswahili that panga around independent of its parent empty because if you just parent the object directly to the bone then you're stuck I mean if you if you use the child of what's nice about child of is it copies rotation and all that stuff so you're good but if you just directly parent it like that you can't you can't make any little fine-tuning changes but oh like this as you can see that's a little rough just trying to share this little trick that I I worked out to make things a lot easier. And this is, you know, for someone who's holding the thing the, for the entire part of the scene, if they're throwing it or, or picking something up or putting something down, you do, well, I do something a little bit different and I'll share that in another time because I am done, everybody. Please check out um, our link to the website, go to the Facebook, like, like this video, subscribe, you know, sing hallelujah, and, well, this is Warren Reed, and uh, I hope that helped you. <laughs>